came from war zone. If I compare the life here and the, the life at the time when I left, it's big difference. We wanted a place to be safe, to live free, and uh, my kids uh, be able to go to school, educate, and have future. Most of the people in the third world country, we're really trying to move forward, to go to another place where we can actually do something positive. I believe that I lack the opportunities for a, I guess, decent life or a decent future. Canada is the land of different people. As a newcomer, you always have to get used to where you are starting to live again. Uh, we met uh, a center here, Life Resource Center, and they were very effective. The settlement worker at South London Community Centers, she will call and said, hey, Ben, there is this program for your kids. Are you interested? If I didn't contact with her, I won't know there's these things that are available with no cost for kids and it's helpful. We were welcomed by the London Cross Cultural Centre and we were there for about three weeks. They made us really uh, familiar with neighbourhood, with ceremonies. They invited us to their centre. They helped me uh, to find a place like renting an apartment. They taught me how to ride a bus, uh, where I could I get my food from. I think I'm just grateful, you know, because everything that was done I wouldn't get that kind of help in Africa. There's a lot of people who come over here with uh, degrees of one kind or another, but very few of them are actually recognized. When I came here, we start from zero. I didn't have a, any job. They don't recognize any of your paper. Even the driver license, like I have to wait for a full year to get my G2. Starting all over again, like starting from scratch. I was uh, kind of manager over there. I was a boss. I had some friend working uh, under my hand. I was chemistry teacher in my country. I even taught in Libya for four years. But then when I came, I had experience in my country, in Libya but they didn't recognize it. It was hard for me uh, with no job here. So not only make money, I wanted to do something. And chemistry is chemistry everywhere. It doesn't need English people, it's chemistry. <laughs> the people in London, they are friendly, they are helpful. Everyone was nice and friendly and willing to help. Maybe because they see I have five kids around me. I have found people are more willing to help, more open, they're friendly. I like that about London. My friends, they came to me. They were very kind. They were very kind, very nice people. I was very lucky. I help out organizing the community garden. There's a lot of interactions uh, through the garden. I didn't imagine I could see all the culture in the same place. And he's doing very well in school. He's receiving one of the best. <laughs> For me, it was really important to kind of step out and to kind of get myself connected. You have to connect with people. If you can't connect, how to, how to uh, set up base for your life. You need to connect with people. Interact with the community, go for seminar, sign your kids in different activity. You will have friends that will be your network and uh, you will learn. To be patient and persistent. Have English before they come and uh, be open. Now we are very hopeful mm, to a step higher and higher in this society. You're able to improve, you're able to make a difference in somewhere else where you're not restricted and where you don't fear for your life every single day and just going out and working. I think London is one of the best community 
because the future is bright here in Canada, not in Nepal, not in a refugee camp. Here they didn't, they don't consider them foreigners, they are Canadian. I don't see them as a refugees, as a newcomers, as a immigrants. I see them as people.